wake up! Because for a whole 30 days, I attempt impossible. Waking up at 5 a.m. every single day with no excuse. Short story long, it was like 6 a.m., the birds were chirping, the bug crack of dawn has just passed, and I just finished my one last episode like 8 episodes ago of Love is Blind while eating my dollar ramen. And it really made me question, was I okay? I was not. And just like anyone who starts questioning their life choices, I fall into the rabbit hole of TED Talks and motivational videos. One after the other, without fail. Days of waking up at 5 a.m. 4.42 in the morning. 4 o'clock in the morning, I wake up, have my caffeine. 4 in the and I was like, I too would like to be like The Rock. If you've ever watched a motivational video, you probably also wondered if waking up at 5 a.m. every day really works, or if it's just a lie that hustle culture created to make you feel bad for being a normal human being. Are you sad, tired, and unmotivated to exist on a thousand-year-old rock? Yeah, very depressed. Well, sucks to be you, because I'm not. Because I'm rich, successful, and I wake up every day at 5 a.m. It's changed my life. That has to be a lie, right? Like, if I just wake up at 5 a.m., I can be happy? And if it's that easy, I too would like to be happy. Either way, your girl's gonna find out, cause I'ma take one for the team, cause who doesn't wanna be happy, right? But see, here's the thing. I kinda really hate waking up. It's just never been my thing. Waking up just feels like the day is beating down on you before the day even starts. You'd think I'd plan this all out, but no, I did not. I'm most definitely not smart enough for that. The night before day one, I watched eight motivational videos and at exactly midnight, I told George, I'm doing what they're doing. I'm waking up at 5 a.m. every day for 30 days. In which he responds, yeah, right. Which was honestly fair. Because every time George wakes me up, I without fail say, can you wake me up in like an hour? Can you wake me up in like 30 minutes? Can you just wake up for me instead? I also have at least 10 alarms that I will snooze at any opportunity. But if there's anything more that pushes me in life, it has to be other people doubting my capabilities. Day one was most definitely one of the hardest days. Day one, I kind of, um, I kind of hate this. My coffee is making though. I woke up and I'm not gonna lie, I almost quit immediately. I can just start tomorrow, no one's gonna know, how will they know? And as I'm about to go back to bed, I see George smiling and somehow that fueled me to start my day. 10 out of 10 IQ, I decided I'm gonna make a YouTube video about this whole experience so I have no excuse. I also picked up a thing called habit stacking. Habit stacking is stacking a new habit on top of an already existing one. So when my alarm goes off and I yeet myself across the room to pick up my phone, instead of going on social media like I usually do, I recorded a video, took a picture, and posted it on Instagram for accountability. So if I failed, everyone would know that I'm a failure, which is somehow more terrifying. I'm gonna be honest though, I did try to cheat by trying to take a nap for 30 minutes on day one, but I had the worst nap of my life, I had terrible sleep paralysis, saw the grudge, could not move, almost died in my sleep because I tried to cheat the system. So moving forward, after day one, there were no more naps because I was too scared. Day two was actually even harder than day one. Straight up, I almost quit. But I kept repeating the phrase, my mama didn't raise a quitter, and somehow that got me out of bed. I'm kind of just really tired. I don't like how dark that bathroom is. I'm a little scared. Anyways, happy day two. Day three, your girl was reading a book at 5 a.m. Crazy, I know. Oh, happy day three. I'm so tired. But it's a little bit easier today, so day three. Day four, my sister slept over and they without a doubt would roast me if I quit, so I didn't. Cheers to day four or five oh four. Um my sisters are over, so um I get to be in the office today and pretty much start work really early. Cheers. Day five, my neighbors were hammering things at 3 a.m. They suck. Sleep is for the week and I am, in fact, weak. Day six, I was extremely tired and exhausted, so I chopped off my hair. Day seven, one week down. Waking up is slightly easier because it's a milestone day. We made it. We made it to you. Come on. I can't believe we made it. Ah! 
<laughs> I'm not going through all the days because I don't want to draw all the days. I want to be happy and not hate myself. So highlight days. Day 10. The day I somehow forgot to turn on my alarm. The run could have been over on day 10 by accident. But yeah, girl, somehow figured out how to program her coffee maker to make coffee at 5 a.m. And I set that bad boy up the night before so I can wake up in the morning with fresh coffee. And somehow it worked because I woke up to the smell of coffee and just confusion. Like, how did I wake up? Is my body used to it finally? Day 13. One of the craziest work days of my life. I literally had like three cups of coffees that day. I was in the office from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m. the next day. And at this point, I was running on five hours of sleep daily. I don't know how it was functioning. I even tried to use my coaster as a mouse pad. And before I knew it, week two was done. Week three was by far the easiest week. Waking up felt easier with less resistance. I could just jump out of bed and take on the day, even with just five hours of sleep. I had a really hard time going to bed early though. I just couldn't seem to figure out how to sleep early. I could be in bed by eight or nine and still somehow fall asleep at midnight. But this week was super productive. I wasn't in survival mode anymore, so I became a complete beast. Day 25 to 27 was a little bit insane. I thought this was going to be the breaking point. If I was going to give up at any point, this was the perfect time. Me and some friends rented an Airbnb and it was also my birthday. So I'm obviously going to try to clean my intestines with alcohol. We were going to bed at around 1 a.m., 2 a.m. after watching 500 Days of Summer, playing apple juice pong, and just hanging out before the summer was over. And if I stopped here, it should be okay because one, I'm on vacation, two, it's my birthday, and three, I'm only getting three hours of sleep. But somehow, I still managed to wake up at 5 a.m. Which is honestly all thanks to Georgie because he woke up at 5 a.m. too and then he made me breakfast and coffee and he told me I could do it because he believed in me and somehow that's all I needed. Day 29 was the hardest of the hardest. There's nothing better than sleeping in your own bed and I most definitely missed my bed. Not to mention the new Pokemon Unite map just dropped and I most definitely stayed up until 2 a.m. playing the new map. And just like that, we made it to day 30. Today is day 30. Yay, we made it. We made it. Should we made it? Go, oh, we made it. Woo, we did it. I know you can't believe it because I can't believe it. So the pros and cons. The pros, seeing the sunrise every day was really nice. It's also really quiet and peaceful since everyone's still sleeping. Routines like skincare or showering in cold water, which is good for you, is somehow easier. Because waking up at 5 a.m. is really hard. And if I can do that, I can do anything. Bad habits are easier to break too. Because if you're waking up at 5 a.m., you're obviously trying to better yourself. So you try to avoid bad habits altogether. Productivity after week two was amazing. I start work at 6 a.m. and by 4 p.m. I've already put in at least 10 hours of work. So afterwards, I was able to play video games and just enjoy the day. Literally, my friends are on crackhead content creator schedule. So they text me good morning every day as they're about to go to bed. Since I was posting this on Instagram, other friends messaged me too and said I somehow motivated them. Which is insane because I somehow lost all my motivation before starting this challenge. So that's kind of cool. Also, I was just more on top of things and just more organized. The cons. Hanging out with other grown adults is hard because 10 p.m. is when I'm supposed to be in bed. But 10 p.m. is usually when other people hang out and do stuff. But if you ask me, it's both a pro and a con. And it just really depends on the day. This challenge is hard. It's really fighting tooth and nail just to be alive and functional, especially in the beginning. That is all I got. There's not a lot of cons. Sleeping early and waking up were definitely the hardest battles. These were the solutions that helped me the most. Putting my phone across the room and making coffee ahead of time helped me by so much. Having to walk across the room to turn off your alarm forces you to wake up. Making it a challenge and announcing it to the world was definitely a pushing factor. A lot of people were cheering me on to succeed and were also motivated with the challenge. So I didn't want to disappoint them. Lavender tea is a double-edged sword. 
It helps you sleep when you're having a hard time, but I only drink half of it because I will knock out into the next decade if I drink a whole cup. Overall, I feel like this challenge helped me a lot. I definitely feel happier. I'm not up at sad boy hours thinking about sad thoughts. I mean, who could have known that drinking more water, going out for walks, touching grass, getting some sun, and having a routine actually makes you happier? Not me. Throughout this challenge, I somehow found the motivation to make stuff again. My skin was thriving throughout this whole experience. My eye bags were terrible at best, but my skin was beautiful. So I can't complain. 10 out of 10 would do it again. It was definitely a nice reset because I was genuinely just sad and didn't really know how to fix it. But there was just something about waking up at 5 a.m., doing things that I didn't want to do, doing things that were hard to do. It just shakes you up, slaps you around, and forces you to improve on yourself in a bunch of different ways. Will I keep waking up at 5 a.m.? Only time will tell. But I do recommend you try it for yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It makes me for glitter. I haven't said that in so long. Oh my gosh. Anyways, if you're going to try this challenge, I definitely recommend it. And I kind of wanted to just end every video by saying you got this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.